Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, May 17th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the weather report. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know, 70 years ago, today in 1954, Lawyer Thurgood Marshall scored a landmark victory as the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously ruled in Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka that racial segregation in public schools was unconstitutional. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the weather report. In the Boston area. This morning it's partly cloudy and feels like 52 degrees with seven mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 8.01 and it will rise again tomorrow at 5.19. It looks like we're in for a partly sunny day with a high near 66 and wind of seven to 11 mile per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 51. For all you beach runners out there, the first high tide Friday will be at 7.30 a.m with a low tide at 2 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 53 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, this weekend will be partly sunny with a slight chance of showers on Saturday. Highs will be in the low 60s. Monday will be mostly sunny with a high near 66. Tuesday will be sunny and much warmer with a high near 77. Wednesday will be mostly sunny with a high near 75. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from 8 to 5. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them. Sunny morning send you. In local news, the first trailer for It Ends With Us, a Boston set romantic drama starring Blake Lively has been released. Based on Colleen Hoover's best-selling novel, the film features Lively as Lily Bloom, a flower shop owner escaping a traumatic past who finds herself entangled in a new relationship with Ryle, a charming but troubled neurosurgeon. The story explores Lily's struggle to break free from a cycle of violence, ultimately learning to rely on her own strength. Despite showcasing Boston landmarks, the film was mainly shot in New York and New Jersey. Also starring Brandon Sklenner, Hassan Minhaj, and Jenny Slate, It Ends With Us will premiere in theaters on August 9th. Sounds like a real feel-good flick. Now on to sports. Caitlin Clark's home debut for the Indiana Fever was overshadowed by Brianna Stewart's MVP performance leading the New York Liberty to a 102-66 victory at Gainbridge Fieldhouse. Stewart's dominant game, featuring 31 points, 10 rebounds, and multiple defensive contributions, highlighted the Liberty's strength. Clark had a solid outing with 9 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists, but struggled against intense defensive pressure. Despite an early bucket that energized the crowd, Clark faced tough defense and limited scoring opportunities. The Fever's defensive struggles and challenging schedule have contributed to their O and 2 start with upcoming games against top-tier teams. In local sports, the Red Sox at home lost to the Rays 7-5. To Tonight, the Sox are on the road in Atlanta to take on the Cardinals and the Bruins are at home to take on the Panthers for game six. In top news, the Justice Department has uncovered a major identity theft scheme involving thousands of North Korean IT workers 
who stole American identities to secure remote tech jobs at Fortune 500 companies. This scheme generated significant revenue for North Korea, including for its weapons program, by exploiting the U.S. labor shortage and the rise of remote work. Three individuals have been arrested in Arizona who facilitated the scheme. The Justice Department and FBI are collaborating with international partners and private companies to combat such fraud, emphasizing the need for stringent identity verification in hiring processes. In business news, in response to declining subscriber numbers, Comcast has launched a new streaming service bundle called StreamSaver, which includes Apple TV+, Netflix, and Peacock. This initiative aims to counter the trend of cord cutting, where consumers are abandoning cable TV in favor of streaming services. Comcast chair, Brian Roberts, announced the bundle, emphasizing its competitive pricing and value addition for consumers. This move comes after Comcast reported significant losses in broadband and video customers in its first quarter earnings for 2024, with a 7% decrease in revenue from residential video subscribers. The new bundle is an effort to attract and retain customers amid the shifting media consumption landscape. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is now 65,500. Ethereum is 2,900. And Solana is $162. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk tech. British engineering giant are up has fallen victim to a $25 million deep fake scam involving a Hong Kong employee being tricked into transferring funds. The fraudsters use sophisticated fake voices and images to impersonate the company's CFO and other staff during a video call. Despite the significant loss, Arup confirmed that their financial stability and business operations remained unaffected and their internal systems were uncompromised. This incident, under investigation by Hong Kong police, highlights the increasing frequency and sophistication of cyber attacks, such as deep fakes, invoice fraud, and phishing scams. Arup's global CIO emphasized the need for heightened awareness and vigilance against such threats. And in entertainment news, Francis Ford Coppola's long-awaited passion project Megalopolis premiered at the Cannes Film Festival, closing a chapter decades in the making for the legendary director. This 138-minute science fiction epic, inspired by Roman history, features Adam Driver as architect scientist Cesar Catalina and Giancarlo Esposito as Mayor Franklin Cicero. Despite mixed critical reviews, with some finding it fascinating if chaotic, Megalopolis marks Coppola's return to Cannes competition for the first time since Apocalypse Now in 1979. The film, which has a star-studded cast and a $120 million budget, has yet to secure a U.S. distributor, but is expected to have a limited global release in IMAX theaters later this year. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the lawyer and civil rights activist, Thurgood Marshall. He said, none of us got where we are solely by pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps. We got here because somebody, a parent, a teacher, an Ivy League crony, or a few nuns bent down and helped us pick up our boots. 
And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing weekend, my good friends. We'll see you Monday with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.